Hi everybody. We are at our three o'clock children's story time. And I'm here with my little buddy and his name is? Keegan. Keegan, and he's gonna be here to help us read this book. And Keegan, can you read the name of the book? What does it say? What is that? A Slugs and Bugs Story. The Slugs and Bugs Story. And what does it say? It says, who will play with me? Who will play with me? See, this is our cover. So we've got an adventure today about a slug finding who's going to play with him. And we're going to look at the pictures and then we're going to go on a little adventure afterwards in our little nature hike here to look into finding a slug who's kind of like a snail. But we're right here in this beautiful little cabin right here at church on the playground. And we're going to read this story of a slugs and bug story who will play with me okay you ready keegan mm -hmm. awesome okay here we go here's picture one look at that how fun is that that's the slug oh and what is he in keegan what is he in a wagon he's in a wagon he's being a silly wagon sluggy buggy wait a minute it's a flag in the oh, wagon oh my goodness he's got a flag on there too what a crazy little flag it's i think that's just in case keegan wait a minute. And he colored it too. But I think the flag is there in case some cars come, they can see him, right? <gasps> Here we go. Here's page one. Do you want to read that? Can you read that right there? I can. Okay, I can. it says this. Once upon a hillside, Doug the slug came out to play. What's the slug's name? Slugbug. Slugbug Doug, okay? And this is him coming out to play. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, I think there's the that's the sun and there's the slug right there that's doug the slug <laughs> here we go so let's see where he goes now okay the next thing is going to be here we go doug the slug page two doug loves having fun he tries to have fun every day look at the slug having fun every day keegan what do you do to have fun every day Play with his brother Everett, and do you play? I'm thinking Power Rangers. I love Power oh Rangers. Oh my goodness, I love Power Rangers. I love Power Rangers Dino Charge. Dino Charge, those guys are strong, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so let's see where the slug's gonna go now. Doug the Sluggy Bug. It says, with a push and then a swoosh or a squish, the slug began <laughs> to slide. Look at him. He's can you make the squishy sound? <laughs> Something like that. And then he was climbing up a hill toward the playground on the other side. Can you point to the playground? Oh, there it is over there. Where is it in the book? Where's the playground in the book? And look at that playground in the book. It's just like the one that's right outside here. See the playground? And what's Dougie Slug going to do? Let's find out. Then it says, slurshy, sloggy, past two froggies. What sound does a froggy make? Ribbit. 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 In a muddy dance, Doug was smiling to himself. I'm glad slugs don't wear pants. Do, do slugs wear pants? No. No, they're slugs. Look at Doug's got no pants. Because they're slugs. They're little slug snail things. They don't wear pants. But the froggy had some on. Let's go to the next page. Then it says, Doug kept chugging and slugging towards the hilltop. Go, Doug, go. Tell Doug to go. Go, 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 go Doug. The hill was very small, but Doug is very, very well He's not too fast. How fast is he, Keegan? He's slow. He's very slow in getting there. See? Doug is slow. Now remember, Keegan, we gotta keep our, our six feet. Here, let's scoot your chair over a little bit. I forgot we're supposed to be. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Here we go. 
So Doug's going very slow. When he topped the hill, he stopped to look around, and that's when he saw, what did he see, Keegan? A wagon. A whole a wagon. wagon. All alone upside down. Look at it, it's all bummed, it's all turned over. Aw, but Dougie Sluggy is gonna do something with that. Just imagine a red wagon, green and yellow too, tumbled or tumped over in the grass, still cool and wet with morning dew. Wow, that's a big wagon. It's red and green and yellow, just to match Doug's colors. He's yellow too, huh? Yeah, and he even has some polka dots that are wow. Yeah, he's got some polka dots, like maybe freckles, kind of like, well, I have freckles. Do you have freckles, Keegan? No. Oh, there's a freckle right there. You have freckles on your arms right there. There's a freckle. Just not that many, but the slug is a bug. Dougie has one. And it says he took one side and lifted up the wagon and pushed and pushed and he almost got stuck. Do you see him almost getting stuck? What a crazy slug he is. He almost gets stuck. But let's find out what happens. Here we go. Then one more push with all his might. With a crash, it fell upright. If you think Doug climbed in, what do you think, Keegan? Do you think Doug climbed in this in the wagon? Um, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, but let's find out. There he is. He pushed it over. Clang, crash. It landed on its wheels. And then, you're right. Doug could imagine everything he was going to do because he was now in a wagon on some wheels. Hey, look. There's a boat, a submarine, a rat. A rocket. A rocket. Monster truck. Oh, a monster truck. Look at Doug was imagining all the things that he could do. Uh, a submarine, a sailboat, a rocket ship, and, and a, a big monster, uh, monster truck. truck. What kind of sound does a monster truck make? <laughs> Here we go. I want to ride, Doug softly said. I want to ride. He scratched his head. Can you scratch your head? Can Doug I was. Kind of like you're thinking. Doug's thinking, what could I do? And here we go. I want to ride in the wagon. At first, his voice was strong and full. I want to ride in the wagon, but I need someone to pull. He has a problem. Doug has no friends right now. Who's going to help him pull the wagon? Who will play with me, Doug said. He thought and thought and thought some more, and then he thought that he had not never thought before. There's Doug thinking. Look at his eyes. Can you do your eyes like that? That's what he's doing. He's thinking, what can he do to get somebody to pull his wagon? He took a breath and slid up straight. He slugged his mouth wide open and hollered to the neighborhood. Who wants a ragged wagon ride with me? Can you say that? Who wants a wagon ride with me? Who do you think is going to come, Keegan? Um, maybe a super ladybug. Maybe a super ladybug or maybe, maybe a power ranger. A power ranger. Ho, ho, ho. Let's see. It says, I do came a friendly voice, a flitter and a smile. And there was Doug's friend Sparky with his super Sparky style. What is he? Who is, who is uh, Sparky? What does he look like? What kind of insect? Ladybug. Yeah, ladybug or a buzzy bee. Sparky came to the rescue. See oh, him? he kind of looks like he has a superhero suit. He does. He kind of looks like a Power Ranger bug. I think he is. What do you think, Keegan? I think he'll be a Gold Ranger from Power Rangers he, Dino Jar. All right, Dino Jars. Look at that lightning spot on him. That's he's got some power. I think he has lightning power Ooh. like this. Yeah. Well, here we go. Sparky, what a fun surprise. Hop in and hold on tight. So Sparky did. He sat, he crouched low and waited to take flight. Here we go. There's Doug the Slug pulling Sparky in the wagon. Do you think Doug the Slug is going to pull it very fast because he's a slug? What do you think? I think he'll go slow. Slow. And Sparky can go really fast. He closed one eye, he gripped the slides, and it says they felt warm from the sun. Still waiting, he heard Doug call out, Woohoo! This is fun! 
but look at how slow they're moving. Doug could not pull it very fast because Doug is a slug. You can start pulling, Sparky called. Doug said, I am pulling. I heard some squirking, Sparky said, but barely felt a tug. Look at that. Remember, how fast do slugs go? So low. So low. Like a melting snowman, Doug's face fell, and he said, Oh, I thought I was going fast, but I'm a slug, and slugs are slow. And then we go. Then all the fun began to thaw, and Doug felt like a big, fat flaw. He cried a tear that no one saw. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was getting caught up in the emotion. What? Can you pretend cry? Doug was crying. He had a tear, see right there, in his eye that no one can see, but he began to cry. Then Sparky started thinking. <gasps> in his lightning buggy brain and also in his heart, because sometimes those things are the same. He fluttered down to hug his friend and think a moment more. Then Sparky thought a thought much like a thought that Doug thought before. Hmm, Sparky's thinking. Hmm. Remember the last time we were thinking? What did Dougie the slug do? He scratched his head to say that I'm thinking. Can you scratch your head? I don't know what's going in Sparky's mind, but we're gonna find out. Woohoo! Oh, oh, maybe, bit. did I skip a page? Nope. Woohoo! Look at what Sparky's doing. Sparky is now pulling Doug the slug. That's the way to go. So he, so the wagon has to go fast. Fast, how fast? It's like Power Ranger fast. Yeah? yeah? Almost. And then, of course, they swapped, and finally Doug got his wagon ride. They whooped and hooped and loop-de-dooped with smiles a mile wide. Look at where everywhere they went. It was amazing. They even got to the playground. They did. See the playground they got to go to right there? It's like the one outside here. So, hey, make sure you guys go to your play if they're not open then don't go. But if they're open, go to the playground and play outside. Then Doug called out to the swing set. He slunk, he slunk up on a swing, but a wagon pulling had worn out Sparky wing to wing. So Doug got up on the swing, but Sparky couldn't push him. How would a slug get up on a swing? <laughs> slug it over it, right? Yeah, he can't do it. He that. can't do it. Sparky must have helped him. What a good friend he was. Sparky tried to lightning push, but his limbs were lightning mush. He fell in his lightning tush. I think he was trying to see that. He was getting tired. Oh, yeah, that's the sound. First, there was a giggle, then a gaffy laugh burst. That kind of gaffy laugh that can never be reversed. <laughs> Can you, can you gaffy laugh? <laughs> that was the goofy laugh. See, they're goofy laughing. They were laughing so hard. I, I want to say, I think he said, and after all the chuckles, snorts, and squeezes and grins were through, Doug thought of his friend Sparky. Almost through. And then they said at the very end, and he knew just what to do. What do you think he did? What do you think Doug, Doug the Slug and Sparky the Bee did? Um, I think Slug the Duck pushed. He pushed him. So Doug the Slug pushed Sparky on the swing because Sparky was tired from pushing Doug on the wagon. What a great friend he was, huh? That's the way friends do it. And there it was. In humility, value others above yourself. Philippians 2, 3. There we go. That's our lesson. So like a good friend, Jesus put us first. So like a good friend, we sh can show people. Wait a minute. I know what we're supposed to do now. What are we supposed to do now? Find some snails. <gasps> That's right. We need to go find a slug. A slug is another thing for a, a snail because a snail is a slug in a shell so let's go look in our garden to see if we can find Doug the Slug. Let's go look. Let's go find Doug the Slug. Okay, we're going on our adventure here. Let me turn this around. 
All right, let's go. Here we go. We're going on our adventure. Let's look in the bushes here to see if we can find a slug down there. You want to look in there? Okay. Let's see if we can look down there, in here. Let's go look in the bushes. Because we, slugs like the shady area. Hmm. Let's go over to those plants. Over there. Okay, we're gonna look in all the vegetables because slugs also like to eat. <gasps> look at what I found. Look at, there's a roly-poly in there. See the roly-poly? Let's see if we can see the roly-poly in there. Hang on a second. Okay, there it is. Let's see, I think you guys can see the roly-poly. There he is right there, the roly-poly. And then let's see if we can- We the Let's see if we can look in the bushes. Look in the bushes. <gasps> These are strawberries. Slugs love strawberries. I don't see a slug. I don't see slug. slug Let's look slug. in the garden. <laughs> Everett, I don't see any slugs. Do you? No. Nope. Oh, this kind of looks like one, but it's not really. It's a, to it's a, pot a tomato or a potato. Let's keep looking. They're usually on this other side. Let's go down here in the other other vegetables down here because they like vegetables. Look down in there. We just have to be careful for spiders. Sweet. Here we go. They're usually in little grassy areas like this. Hey, I think I know where slug this slug is. Where's one? I think he's over there. Let's go look over there. Oh, this looks like this looks like it's. There's a ton, it could be a ton of bugs in here. I don't see any slugs. Wait a minute, I think I see some flowers. Where do you see the flowers? Over here. Oh, let's look over here in the flowers. Hmm. This is where bees try to get some honey. That's right, bees too try to get some honey in here. Wow. I don't see any slugs. Slugs in the bugs. Slugs well, let's just bugs. say that we could not find any slugs. No dugs, but what? Okay, go. Okay, this is my buddy Keegan, and we just wanted to say thank you for reading today with us. And our story was about Doug the Slug, remember him, and Sparky? And Will You Come Play With Me was the lesson about putting friends first. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So, Keegan, we're going to put our friends first today. I know you've got a little brother named Everett. You can love on him a little that way, right? So we want to encourage you, go look for a slug, a snail, but look to be a friend today, right? Mm -hmm. How could you be a friend to somebody mm -hmm. today? What would be something fun you could do for somebody? Um, well, I love playing with my friend Grant room four, so. That would be cool. So I love Grant to play in Abba's garden with me. Oh. And I wanted to see my own bike. Oh my goodness, that was cool. His Owen bike was amazing. So we will look this week, look to make a friend and be a friend by putting them first. Hope you enjoyed our story time.